President Carol Millett, distinguished ladies of town and gown and guests, what a special occasion this is. Certainly I am inspired by this glorious gathering together to celebrate the power of women's philanthropy at USC. And I too extend my heartfelt congratulations and appreciation to the other ladies who are being recognized. Let me begin by stating that my husband Peter and I have been profoundly grateful for the superior education we received here at SC. Not only did USC give us the skills to excel in our professions, it also opened doors that we never could have imagined. Really was a life-changing experience. We just appreciated the arts and the humanities, and we often spoke about that great philosopher, Cicero, who said that the decisions we make today will shape the person we will become tomorrow. And the actions that we take in the present will have consequences in the future. Those were true lessons that we learned. There were so many resources, so many beautiful, beautiful people, so many experiences that were life-changing, and we decided we must reach back. We must help others come to this wonderful institution. That is why we wanted to reach back and to help this university become even better, perhaps in some small way. That is why. Thank you. You know, just listening to all of these illustrious women here really makes me feel very humble. I just am so humble just to be sitting here among all these illustrious women, my goodness. Let me say that you heard me say a minute ago that we were so impressed with USC and wanted to reach back to bring others to campus so that in our small way, we gave as we could through the years to many organizations, to schools, to organize BAA, to create the first uh, endowed chair for doctoral students so that especially minorities could come, and um, being supportive as we could. Then all of a sudden we looked around and we said, you know, the buildings are all so beautiful, but we'd like to see one uh, with a minority name on it. And so many, many years ago, Peter and I dreamed, never dreamed it might happen, but we just dreamed of, of having a building here at USC. And still though, after Peter passed, and I finally was ready to make my gift, I didn't really have a clear idea of what that building would be. But a vision did take shape when uh, President Max Nakias shared his ideas about making USC an elite university. I heard him talk about how crucial it is for USC to expand the excellence of its faculty to achieve greater academic distinction and increased influence in the world. I also heard Provost Elizabeth Garrett speak about her priority of attracting what she calls transformative faculty in all fields but especially in the social sciences. Of course, USC already has eminent social sciences faculty in our cutting edge professional schools. 
the USC Gould School of Law, the USC Marshall School of Business, the USC Leventhal School of Accounting, the USC Price School of Public Policy, the USC School of Annenberg School for Communication and Journalism, the USC Rossier School of Education, the USC School of Social Work, all enriched by the Social Sciences Departments in the USC Darnside School, College of Letters, Arts, and Sciences under the leadership of Dean Steve Kay. What is more, USC also has a rich and fr fruitful culture of collaboration in the social sciences, bringing faculty from many disciplines together to look at a single complex problem from many po points of view. But Provost Garrett had a plan to tap into the existing culture and magnify its effect. She envisioned a unique building that would foster the careers of USC's outstanding social sciences scholars and also serve as a magnet, attracting new faculty stars from around the world whose reputations alone would place USC in the vanguard. Only a few other institutions have such a building, and Dotrieve Hall will move us toward our goal of securing USC's place as a truly elite university. When President Nakias and Provost Garrett shared their visions of Dotrieve Hall, a beautiful structure with graceful arches and gothic flourishes and physical space designed to bring great minds together to solve society's problems. It really made my heart sing. It was exciting. And at that moment, their vision became my own. If we could work together in a building to solve problems that will impact global communities all around the world. That seemed very special to me. And this is why I chose as my vision, Dotrieve Hall, a special place, a unique place, a place where interesting discoveries will be made, a place where there will be an appropriate and ample environment for collaboration and pollination of ideas. Thank that you, thank will you. will impact the world.